Nick, do you feel like we're back in college now? Yeah. You know, we got this term paper due every week, and we still got to have fun, though, because we're in college. Except for these term papers are fun to do. That's we actually true. enjoy doing the edits. And plus, like, the going and having fun actually is part of the weekly paper. It's so, pretty cool. It's slack tied, and there's a really cool channel that we're going to go snorkel, and our friends on One Life are going to join us. falling tide this morning and got a look at the cut and said no 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 um, you can see that when even when there isn't a huge sea running I mean out there it must be a four foot swell coming in when you got a strong current running against that the waves really stand up and there are some five and six footers the, the boat could absolutely handle this the question is do we want to get thrown around and get the boat all salty in the process why not just wait make it easier on ourselves. So we turned around and put the anchor back down to wait for slack water. That well, wasn't too bad, a little bouncy. Really glad we went with our gut this morning. Yeah. If it looks kind of rough from the inside looking out, it's probably really rough once you're in it. So, why put ourselves through the hassle? Patience is key, always is, patience. The reason we're going outside the cut is to fish. We've heard of a few people catching lots of mahi lately. Big difference. Yeah. yeah. I think you're 
Thank you very much. Thank you. It's true. It's so good. Taco anything. Taco yeah. like yeah, breakfast tacos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude. yeah. Chicken tacos, yeah. beef tacos. There's pineapple shrimp, lemon shrimp, coconut shrimp. I like your shirt. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> That's a good boat name right there. Yeah. Porky no. So wake me up when it's all over. Can you see my eye? I'm actually in some need of some medical care right now. Good thing we have a friend who is also a patron who's in the Anchorage and he's a PA, a physician's assistant. And he is going to give us some tips on our medical kit and also he's going to grade it for us. I'm asking for a grade between A and F and I think we're going to get about a C minus. You can see my attempt at getting organized. You got syringes, cleaning prep, I got lidocaine, ointments, bandages. I would give you an A for the custom. <laughs> I feel like Ali Sheedy in uh, Breakfast Club where she empties out her <laughs> Wow. This is the most used thing in the medical kit right here. And also, anti-itch. Welcome! Are you here to save the day? Uh -uh. Hello! Hi. Oh, yeah, yeah. This isn't this even is... the big boy? No, that's not the big boy. Wow. wow. I already feel like we're uh, <laughs> behind the curve. If we've got a weak point, it's in our medical kit. But we brought in the big guns today. We are so lucky. Thank you so much. Okay, I went through, first of all, I, it wasn't all in this box before. It was shoved into a cupboard, like different <laughs> shelves. So and this is a huge improvement. I did have these three boxes that are labeled. I did that a couple years ago. And surgery. Yeah, ointments, <laughs> surgery, band-aid, bandages. So these are things that um, I think people have to do is they have to go look at their medical kits. Yeah. Because medical kits are forgotten. Most people just don't look at it unless it's like, oh, someone's hurt, get the medical bag. Yeah. Oh, we're out of band-aids. <laughs> oh no, okay. So, um, no, I, you should see the garbage. It's full of stuff. All the like, stuff. Mm, yeah, because people don't, you know, typically yeah. look at it. It's it's there, and you forget about it. Yeah, I had this this eye issue. It looks still swollen, but you put nothing on top. Did you no. take uh, Did you take one of these? No, should I? Well, you can, but this is Gas X. Why does Nick refuse to take this? That's a deep <laughs> philosophical question. I'm not sure I'm prepared to get into. Um, the active ingredient is cymethicone. And the thing Steri strips are great. Your tincture of benzoin. You've got two. Oh, Look at that. Nice. Wire splints good. Tourniquets good. I have two. They're not uh, 1950s vintage, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a museum piece. It's in good condition. That actually looks like it's got blood on the corner. That's uh. <laughs> As much as we tried to stop him, Nate just went on and on and on. Not joking. <laughs> Nate gave us so many great tips and advice. Guys, there was just way too much to put into one video. So we made a separate video. It's almost an entire hour. So find the link below in the description. It look like sutures. Yeah, do some surgery. So where's your drivers? Okay. You have these suture material, but mm -hmm. you didn't have the needle driver. Mm -hmm. And wow, inside here you've got a needle driver. Mm -hmm. Having stuff on board, if you if you have it, then I would definitely know how to use it. You definitely gonna want to get some sort of training. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna tote anybody, but you could go do um, some sort of medical course. Yeah. Drum roll. I'm nervous. After um, some deliberation, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> A little bit of soul searching because I want to be invited back to. <laughs> um, came up with a, a, an overall score for the uh, for your medical kit. Okay. And I gave Clarity a B. Wow! Oh, thank you. I thought 
thought for sure we were getting a C, maybe a C minus. No, you had some good pieces in there, and I was really surprised. Cool, me um, too. <laughs> <laughs> what about our areas of improvement? Oh yeah. Right. So the I think the, the the things that I would say is number one is how you organize it. Okay. Right. With tools that you have, which are really good tools, um, your suture material. Um, you need to make sure that, hey, how do I use it and do I have all the pieces for it? This is only part of it? So I, I break it down to levels of what we need to treat because the first thing you want to get to is something that's easy and that's why we have our small red first aid bag. Um, it's easy, everybody knows what a first aid bag looks like with that red. And then the secondary one is, it's almost like a jump bag, what we would call it. Um, it's my secondary, hey, it's, it's a bit worse. I need to break out different pieces. And then I have the one uh, that's like, uh-oh, this is really bad, that I need to uh, pull that one out. You don't have to spend three or $400 on a medical bag. This bag was just a shell. And then there was parts that you can get online. I use a lot of um, Amazon. Walmart, you can go in and, and get generic. Ooh, um, that's a great book. What, how to treat different bites and stings and envenomations. All right, so this is um, my first bag. This is uh, over by our helm. So with this, you just have basic small band-aids, big band-aids, the ace wraps. I have a little thing of gloves because I'm just treating basic stuff, right? And I have skin glue. This is Dermabond. I have my alcohol pads I can clean off. Scopolamine patches, so it's for seasickness. I've got stuff I can clean with, my betadine swabs. I do have more EpiPens. I actually have an inhaler. I keep cortisporin. That's just the topical. Then I have a different first aid ointment with a little bit of betadine. And then this is just tulfinate. This is uh, antifungal. That's just all that's in our first kit. Yeah, so this is like a bigger laceration, a bleeding problem. Maybe if somebody had um, uh, contact with some sea creatures. So there's a lot of different things here. I said it a couple times, modular. I always have it modular so I can take that and I can treat with that. Same thing here if I just want to grab this. Ointments and also some extra. And this is where you can see I have, now I have my gauze. And this is all filled with uh, four by fours um, and other band-aids as well. More um, skin glue. Over here, this is where I have my little scrubbies. And these are all just for prepping, cleaning wounds, getting it ready. Face blanket, just tourniquets. If I need to listen to somebody's heart, right? Or if I need to get a blood pressure. Your little finger splints. Oh, wow. So you can cut these into sizes. This is what people should have on there is, it's called a Sam splint. You can actually mold this to however you want to and it can bend and flex. Uh -huh. And then you can put it around the arm or the leg. With my Steri strips, we talked about it before, the tincture of benzoin. This is 100%, so I know that I'd have to dilute this with some water if I was gonna be treating some stings with vinegar. Flower coral is one of the big ones you would use, but this is a, basically like a viscous lidocaine. I've had to use this before taking out uh, uh, sea urchin spines on friend's foot. So this is two different types of packing. Um, for wounds. It's called silver silvadine cream and this is for burns. I also keep eardrops so if you want to dry out the ears for swimming I keep antihistamines because having uh, antihistamines is extremely important. So it's just visine but I just use this sometimes you just want to clean it out you know if you've been in the water if you get exposed um, this just kind of helps flush it out. So yeah. disclaimer is this, this is just my opinion yeah. and this right. is my medical kit that I put together. Mm -hmm. Right. Everybody needs opinion. to that's the thing about yeah. this lifestyle you got to be self self-reliant. Yeah. yeah it takes you know whatever you want out of the video and if you can use it to where it helps you put together a kit that works for you then yeah, yeah. then definitely um, i'm really happy yeah um, nice thank job. you the cruiser thank spirit you. <laughs> sharing wisdom it is well that was an action-packed episode or at least information-packed episode i learned a lot yeah and i learned what i don't know and that's pretty important this is definitely a weak point for us so we're not out there telling folks what they should put into their medical kit. One thing that became really apparent, we all need to treat our medical kits individually because mm -hmm. what you need is not the same as what I need. Yeah, and I need to do some YouTubing on how to do some suturing. Even though I'm a seamstress, I realize it's not that simple. Just making a trip to the pharmacy and getting the over-the-counter products that you use on a regular basis, stocking up on the Tums if you need it or the the uh, antihistamines. Pain, the antihistamines, the pain relievers. 
Um, but, you know, when we're getting into this, there's a tendency to get really hyped up and worked up. If you look at a medical book, man, that can give you enough anxiety to keep you up all night. Speaking of, we need some medical books. This week on The Sugar Scoop, which is the patrons only extra video. Behind the scenes, if you will. Yeah, some more information. We'll expand on whatever topic we're talking about in the main video here on YouTube. And this week on The Sugar Scoop, we're gonna talk about some of the medical injuries that we've seen firsthand out here. Yeah, if you look on Facebook or Google sailboat injury, you're gonna find all manner of very, very serious things. But we just wanted to take the temperature, if you will, and talk about some of the serious things that we've seen either on this boat or firsthand. Maybe that's a bit more of an average cruiser's experience. So join our Patreon if you want to see more behind the scenes. Thank you to everybody for tuning in and watching this video. We really appreciate it. If you'd like to add a little extra support, go ahead and smash that <laughs> like button. We really appreciate it. All right, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.